Hey, beautiful people. So on the end, you've seen that for the last 10 years and over 1,200 couples, we've created a space for them to really step into transformative conversations, to really connect and deepen their connection. What does that space look like? And how can you bring it into your own home, into your own life? That's what I want to talk about now. If your partner comes to you and says, why do you love me? You're probably not going to first wonder why you love them. You're going to be wondering why the hell they're asking you that question while you're washing the dishes. Did you leave the toilet seat up? Do they think you're having an affair? What's going on? We need context. We need space. We need framing in order to have a vulnerable, cathartic conversation. To step into a space where you can really explore, there's a few things that need to be there. Number one, let's not conflate discomfort with safety. Safety is important. It's essential. Discomfort can be good because it means that we're stepping into a new space and that means we grow. We have an opportunity to grow. So that's one thing about the space. Two, let's create the framing for it so that you know what the intention is. Again, your partner comes to you, why do you love me while you're washing the dishes? What's the framing for this? You pull out a card game. You're like, let's play a card game. And you pull out the card game. And the first question that comes out is, why do you love me? Why do you love me? Well, the context is set. We're playing your game. It's clear. Why do you love me? Now, the space is created for you to respond. And maybe even more importantly, for the other person to receive. For me, I know it's harder to receive than to give. That's, that's something I've learned about myself. Another aspect about the space is make sure you're both comfortable physically. Right? You don't want to be in an awkward position. You don't want to be sitting on a chair that doesn't make you feel good, that you can't sit there for time. You want to be comfortable physically so that you can remove other distractions and really focus on the conversation at hand. Find the space, physical comfort, but also time so you don't feel rushed, that you could focus, you could be present with the other person. Create it as a space of exploration and fun, right? It, we don't have to get to the answers. We don't have to rush to solutions. We're exploring. We're playing. Playing doesn't always have winners, and nor should a conversation. When an end couple comes to set, and they sit down in the chairs, They've been given instructions about the game and how they're going to engage with one another. The first thing we do before they begin is we ask them to drop in. We ask them to take 30 seconds looking each other in the eye and becoming present to the moment and to the other person sitting across from them. If looking the other person in the eye is challenging for you, what I suggest is possibly holding hands, closing your eyes, and just breathing together. But the key important part in creating the space before you begin the conversation, is to really drop into the space. That's why physical comfort is important. Time is important. Not too much noise so that you can really ultimately drop and be present with each other. Test this out because the more you create the space, regardless of what comes out of that conversation, you are both holding that space. And there's a lot of mutual trust and respect and love that's built just by virtue of holding that space. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again next time. Much love.